Uh, I am Syed Maz. I represent uh, GWC and also the authorized service contractor for UPS in uh, Qatar. I am the chief business development officer. We provide end-to-end -end supply chain services for our uh, customers. Uh, we have different uh, verticals within the logistics uh, frame. We believe in uh, growing along with the customers that we have on board and the country. I have seen the country transform completely in the last eight years. So in line with the country's 2030 vision, uh, by hosting the FIFA World Cup as well, the country has invested a lot into uh, the infrastructure. When you see the roads, highways, freeways, expressways, uh, well, it's amazing. This is the transformation I've seen in terms of the country. Uh, when you look at the airport, seaport, airport is one of the best, rated the best airport uh, in the world. I have been engaged with the QFZ team from uh, the very beginning and we were the first company to set up in the QFZ. Uh, the eye care team that QFZ has, amazing people. Uh, Visam is our account manager, I've had some great exchanges with him. Uh, Brett Harris from the sales division, uh, he passes on leads. End of the day we are here for, uh, for, for business and uh, there is a complete ecosystem. We've, we've managed to tap into many opportunities within the free zone and the ease of doing business, you know, the flexibility. Uh, the infrastructure that's been developed. Sustainability and corporate social responsibilities has always been the core for our organization. When uh, you look at uh, what we do, we always innovate and try and see how best we can automate and bring uh, reduce the carbon footprint as much as possible. The facility that we've established in the free zone, which is uh, on a plot of 25,000 square meters, itself is uh, GSAS One Star certified. That shows the uh, commitment from the organization that uh, we are aligned with the not only the country's vision, but the global vision of being sustainable and uh, helping in the environment and reducing the carbon footprint. We've had a long journey with the World Cup, so it, it's not overnight or a couple of months of planning, but I would say it goes back to about 10 years of planning. Our first engagement was with uh, the Supreme Committee of Legacy. We've been the official uh, uh, logistics provider since the past 10 years for uh, the Supreme Committee and Legacy. So we've technically mobilized each and everything that's gone into the stadium. It makes us very proud uh, to be associated and it opens the doors. In 23, we have the Expo for Horticulture, we have the Asia Football Championship uh, that will take place in Qatar, followed by the Judo Championships, followed by the Table Tennis Championships next year. Many things in the run-up to the 2030 Asian Games, which uh, Qatar will host again. I would like to uh, take this opportunity to congratulate Qatar for successfully hosting uh, the World Cup. The journey has just begun, so there is more to unfold and I'm sure uh, we go along the way with the success of QFZ.